Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at Key Labs from Keymarker. We're going to see this cool annotation tool. We're going to cover it in this video series. I'm going to share everything from setting up a project, how you can upload your own custom data set. So this can be used for update detection, segmentation. You can go in and annotate videos. They also have machine learning automated pipelines where you can basically just upload your data set and use AI to label your images. In this video here, we're going to cover like how to set it up, how to upload your images and some basic annotations. And then we're going to cover the rest in the update coming videos so let's just jump straight into the key marker website see all the services you can basically do whatever you want to do when you're creating machine learning and ai models specifically for computer vision so if you just scroll down here on their website we can see all the different like task and video annotation tools that you can use and the services that they have we can do bounding box annotation rotated bounding boxes which is pretty cool also cuboard annotations if you want to train 3d optic detection models semantic segmentation for segmenting out like every single pixel in the frame we also have skeletal annotations if you want to do human post estimation key point annotation lane annotations and so on so they basically cover everything that you need when you're working with computer vision here we can see some of the industries and the services that they use but again they are mainly focusing on videos machine learning assisted labeling as well so let's now jump into the key Labs platform and let's start actually just creating a project let's go over the side and see how it works so here in the key Labs platform we have these projects we have assignments report users and locations you can also use this if you're a company and have a labeling team to go up and create a new one so we basically just go up and hit add project let's call the project name here cop detection and we're going to use it as an annotation platform. We hit save. So now we actually have our project up and running here. We can go in and have our files. We can upload files. We have different stages and so on. We can also add different classes. We have different users, reports. We can export the data set, change log, and also some configurations. So we can also see the project stages over here to the left. We can also enable different types of works. So we're mainly going to be focusing on just enabling annotations. So this is a really cool platform for basically like having all the stages in a complete annotation pipeline so let's just enable here for the annotation and let's open our project we can go inside our files here when we upload files all of them will be in here we can also just upload videos it will extract all the images from the video and then you can go in and label it automatically here we can upload our files we're going to do that you guys are probably familiar with the data set that i'm normally using for my basic optic detection models so we just have this cup data set where we're basically just going to detect all these cups or like mocks in the image so we're not uploaded some images here to the site. We can go inside the files and basically just see all the files that were added when we created them, the states that it's in. Right now it needs to be annotated. We can also see the number of objects and so on. And also if there's any comments for the labeler, we can go inside the stages and see that we actually have an annotation state, verification state, deferred, declined, and also completed. We can specify all the classes here. Let's just add a class for our bounding boxes. So here we're just going to have cup, and then we're just going to have a standard uh, bounding box. We can also have like an ID here for our export. So I'm just going to call that cup as well. We can also specify like what type of installation we want to use if you're annotating videos and so on. We can export as PNGs, export, combine PNGs and so on. We're going to save our class. And now we should be able to go in and act like do annotations with our cup. You can also add additional classes. You can also add it later on in the act like annotation viewer. We see the different users here, like you can go in and add customers, managers. You can also go in and add annotators if you have an annotation team. You will also get reports for all the annotations and so on. And you can go in and export all the completed files. Let's now go inside the files and actually start doing the annotations. So let's just open that up. Now we get this viewer here. We have the crosshair. We can see the optics. We can see the X, Y coordinate. We can see we have all these different kind of features. So we have a mini map. So for the whole image in case that you're actually working with high resolution images. You're also going to make some comments. You also have this optics list. We can also go in and add attributes to our classes. We have different layers for um, basically playing around with the brightness, contrast, and also saturation. If you want to get better annotations or want to be more specific. So if we want to get into the platform where we can actually annotate them, we have to click up here. So now we're inside our projects, cup detection, and in this case here, we're just inside a single image. So right now we can go up here and I click start an annotation by hitting this button. We can also just press N on our keyboard and we can start adding our labels. So right now we're just adding a bounding box for our cup. So let's now do that. There we go. Have one class. Then we can just go in and label all the other objects here in the image frame. So we're not labeled all our objects in this specific image. We can see all the objects over here to the left. So we basically assign an ID to each of the individual objects that we have. So you can go in and create tags for them as well. 
But here you can also go in, we can also see some of the other tools that you have. You can go in and make comments for um, basically this image here if you want to do some other annotations or maybe for your verification team. We also have like a measure distance here so you can measure the distance in your frame. So this is basically just the pixels that you can go in and measure. So now we actually have everything. We can go back again, we can throw it into the verification stage. So now we just hit OK, stage change the verification. And then you can go in and verify the image before actually like sending it to the complete state. So let's go back to our cop detection data set here again. This is just like how we can set up basic annotation with key labs. Now we can see that the stage type is final, completed. And we can also go over and see the number of optics. So we have six optics annotated in this frame. We can go over here to the export. So we can go in and export all files, export by stage type, stage, and also export completed files. So let's try to go in and export it. And then we can use that for actually labeling our images. So progress 101 and it's complete. We can now go in and download it. So this is the output that we get. We basically just get like the version, file name and so on. So basically just the file that we have uploaded. And then we get all the annotations. Now we get the coordinates of our bounding boxes. So again, that will be like the top left corner and bottom right corner. We will also get the path. We can then import this into our code when we're going to train our own custom optic takers and so on. Of course, we will need like way more examples if you want to fine tune a YOLO V8 model, for example. So for featured videos, because Key Labs has specialized in video annotation, let's just upload a quick video and see how we can do that. So if you just go inside the upload tab, let's just go in and upload an arbitrary video. They also have some projects here that we're going to take a look at, but here we can just go in and upload a video. It's just going to load and then we can do annotations on a whole video file, which is what they're specializing on. So now we can see that the videos have been uploaded. We can go into them and then we can start our video annotations in one of the upcoming videos. We can see all the different frames up here. So it has extracted 2,663 frames and then you can do interpolation between all the frames and all the optics. But we're going to cover that in the upcoming video. So definitely stay tuned for that. This video here was just to like show you guys like how we can import a video, how we can set up some projects, get an overview over the platform. And then in the upcoming videos, we're going to cover everything in details. So thank you for watching again. Hope to see you in one of the other videos guys. Until then, happy hunting.